So, the results are in. On the last poll, I ask you which Aliens book you would like me to read next. So, keeping with the 80s and 90s theme, not touching the 2000s yet, I'm getting through the classic Aliens. I have four left on the shelf. I asked the community what you'd like me to read next, and you picked... So yeah, it's genocide. So straight away, this was the highest voted by far, really. Um, the one that you guys want, so we will read that. If you voted for the other three, don't worry, they're not going anywhere. Well, they're going over there, but they're not going anywhere in terms of the channel. We will get round to reading all of those eventually. I have three more books to read before the end of this season, season two because I start season three in September, following the sort of teacher way of doing things, they will get read. But Genocide looks really interesting. It's not one I've personally read before, but it is in the same universe, so to speak, as the Perry's Aliens trilogy. So if you've not read or listened to, because they're on the channel, Earth Hive, Nightmare Asylum, and The Female War, which we finished not too long ago, get through those first. This picks up after those events. And I imagine it will reference back to those events. So you need to think about, you know, do you know what's going on in the universe for this to make sense? So essentially, from what I've gathered, the plot here is humanity is trying to recover from the awful events that happened there with the Xenomorphs, the Queens taking over Earth. And I was gonna name somebody there, but I won't in case you've not read the trilogy. Somebody coming back to help us fix that problem. However, as is always the case when aliens are involved, greedy humans are going to cause some problems that are going to lead to more aliens as you can imagine so excited for that one that one's coming up however in the poll i said in june we'll be doing an aliens book please vote and even though i said i was doing an aliens book in june i lied so yeah sorry about that i didn't mean to lie it's not a lie if you don't mean it right I didn't mean to lie, I just got confused because I try to record a book ahead, a month ahead of what I'm doing. So actually, Genocide is the July book. So sorry to keep you waiting. However, the June book, the one I'm reading now, which if I look tired, this is why, is the next Terminator book. So June Terminator, July Aliens, but talk to you about this one for a moment. We've got Terminator on the channel and we've got Terminator 2 on the channel. This is the first of a trilogy of spin-offs in the T2 universe, effectively discounting Terminator 3 and everything after that, which I imagine you're fine with, right? So this is the take up the story of Sarah and John. And yeah, there's an Arnie character in here. Obviously there is. Very interesting, very long. When I agreed to do these, I hadn't realized just how long this book was going to take, right? In fact, it's really interesting because I had started thinking, I'll make a vlog of recording these books. That'll be fun. And um, I've been reading this a while now. Um, here's the vlog that I started on that one. New book today. Uh, looking forward to this one. Terminator 2 Infiltrator. Love Terminator. So let's see how this one goes. So day one, page one. But for now, she would enjoy her work. That was long. <laughs> I hope they're not all that long. Day three, chapter four. Um, so Sarah Connor's back, which is great, but this whole thing uh, is mostly set in Paraguay. I guess I'm gonna have to try and do a, a Spanish accent. Si, senor. Si, se si, senor. I'm sure we'll be fine. Day eight. Still on page 62, somehow. Now we have this Kurt Weimeister character. Is this the Arnie character? It's written like Arnie. You don't know what you're throwing away. I make more in one year than you probably make in five. This is okay. I, I guess we're, we're doing this.
day 29. There's another character that sounds like Arnie. Uh, it's just Arnie, but less Austrian, I guess. Okay. Day... 212? I th I've loads of Spanish people speaking to each other and I can't speak Spanish and I can't even do Spanish accents very well and they're talking to each other over and over. <laughs> what did he say? His father will beat him. I know. Day 464, Chapter 10, Page 293, you, you can't write that, you can't write that in Arnie's voice, you can't, it says, R. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe my life's not that bad, but this does take a long time to do. A book like Genocide, a book this size, and it's different on the inside too, it's not just size, right? This takes something like five to six hours. On average, an Aliens book is five or six hours to listen to, so is a Predator book, so are most books on the channel. And when I did Terminator, I think it was, that came in at 10 hours of listening time, which I think is our longest book, that, I remember thinking that, that took a long time, right? This is likely to come in at around about 25 hours. So, it's long, right? And if you bear in mind as well, I mean, you might be going, brilliant, I, I just love listening to stuff, the longer the better, great. But if you bear in mind that for every hour you listen to, it probably takes me three, right? All the recording, um, getting it wrong, going back again, then editing it, and then uploading it. So for 25 hours, I've got to find 75 hours quick math, this month to get that one done. And I'm struggling, but it will happen, all right? So we have got to wrap this one up. At the moment, we've just finished Conan. We have got Terminator coming up in June. It will be done, massive listen. I think it's good though. It's been really cool to hear from Sarah and John again, and there are some great ideas in here that clearly inspired Terminator 3, but I think this has been done better. I'm Chief Master Sergeant William Candy. And then for July, back to Aliens with Genocide. Um, there will be another mini uh, channel update in I don't know, June, July, when I get around to it, about the final book in August. That's an exciting one. A return to novelizations from movies and fantasy all rolled into one. So I look forward to seeing you every month, hopefully, on the channel. Have a good one.